Okay, so there's a, a few new uh, changes to this spreadsheet, um, basically responding to a couple of questions that people email. Um, they're very straightforward, so I'll get straight to it. Um, over in the section which deals with year seven, the green, and year eight, the blue, and year nine, the sort of purpley rosy colour, um, I've added the facility to include more ranging content tests. Um, up here in these two columns, I unhide these, you'll see that there's now the capacity to have up to 12 uh, tests. Uh, 12 being the number of topics in the old QCA national curriculum for Key Stage 3. And some schools um, evidently still adhere to um, 12 topic tests. So if you do more than three tests, in, as in the original spreadsheet, um, this new version has the capacity to do up to 12 topic tests. Um, not everybody wants them, so if you do, uh, say, uh, five topic tests, just hide all the ones apart from the five and leave it like this. The average, the mean test, won't be affected in the slightest. Uh, and so basically you just hide the columns of the numbers of tests that you're not doing, and that average will still appear way over here. Same thing goes uh, for year eight, okay, and also for year nine as you can see there. Um, also, to accommodate these extra tests, uh, the lookup tables and data tab now has many more tables for you to add in the marks and grade boundaries for those tests. Uh, so this now goes quite some way all the way down to uh, 12 tests in total. Uh, no great changes there. So just a little bit of something extra to accommodate schools which do more than uh, the three tests which uh, were originally on the spreadsheet. Uh, 